Hey guys, how's it going? Coach Vera here with another short video on how to correctly enroll in membership, a new membership in IATS Global. So once you've gotten the referral link from your referrer, your sponsor, this is what it will look like up here. And you click that. Once you go to that page, the next thing that you want to do, you want to come down to where it says enroll now. And you click that. It's then going to bring up the name of your intended sponsor and their username that you can confirm. You select the country that you're in, first name, last name, a username, and an email and password, okay? Some places, like for example, you see 869, 1869, you may need to put 869 again and then the number, all right? It's just the way it is sometimes. So once you've done that and you click on sign up, it is going to send you an email, okay? Once they send you that email, you go into your email and then you will see a prompt to enter your password, okay? Once you've entered your password, then it will give you the opportunity to be able to log in, okay? Now, please bear in mind that your username is case sensitive. So if you use an uppercase letter, you have to use the uppercase letter when you are logging in as well. If you do it three times incorrectly, you will get locked out for 30 minutes, okay? So this is the page that you will see once you've logged into your account. You will see it says update package. You go ahead and you click on proceed. And this is where you'll see the different options. Now, if you go ahead and you purchase an Xnode membership, but you wanted one of these pro um, membership packages, you will not be able to come back and purchase one of these, okay? So you have to make sure if you want one of these packages, go ahead, you can select the one you want, scroll to the bottom, enter your full name and a government ID, driver's license can work as well, and hit accept and continue. Now, if you're purchasing a node, what you need to have is the X node membership, which unlocks the ability to purchase a node for $10. So let's go ahead and we select that. We're going to come down. We're going to enter the information here. All right. And then we're going to hit continue. Now, one thing to make, make note of is that when you're entering your driver's license number or government ID, don't put any dashes. Don't put any spaces. Just put the number direct. So once you press that $10 at Snowden membership, this is what you're going to see next. You're going to see three other options, IES add-on, Continental, and Core Pro. You can bypass those. If you come down to the bottom, you will see that the fee is, is, is $25, which is the $10 for the Snowden and the basic admin fee of $15, giving you $25. Now, at this stage, you can proceed to purchase and pay for this with a card, and then you can always come back and purchase your node. Okay, you can do it like that. Or if you're doing uh, your node one time, you just want to do one transaction versus two separate, just scroll back up, click on add on X node add-ons. And once you click on X node add-ons, this is where you would now come and select the, the particular rental or uh, license that you want. You can purchase the full license, grow aluminum, DLG, uh, XPLR, or if you're purchasing a node, rental node for 250, for example, you can come and look for the rental corresponding to the particular node that you want, click on select project. And then this is where you would see the different options. You can purchase one node, three nodes, five nodes. Uh, so you, you, have a, you have an option, two nodes, four nodes, 10 nodes. You choose what you want. So let's assume you wanted to purchase one node. You can click on add cart. You will see it says success. You come down to the bottom. Now it says 275. From there, you click on continue. You enter the information here. And once you've entered that information, we're going to show you what you do next. Now, once all of the information has been entered correctly, you simply hit checkout and you will see this pop up, which will give you a breakdown of your purchase. Okay. 275 for the one node with plus the fee. Then you have a number of options between bit apps, Bitcoin. Um, now, any of these you can use. However, I like to use coin payments is what I'm familiar with and I don't have any problems with it. So I just hit coin payments, click on proceed to make payment, it gives me the price. I enter the information again, all right? And once you finish entering all the information, then you hit, you come right down and you will click on submit, okay? Now, it's also important to make sure that you choose the particular coin you're going to use. If you're using BNB coin, mainnet, if you're using Tether, USD, right, which is the BSC, Binance Smart Chain, 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, or USDC, which is on the ERC20 network. So be very, make sure you're sure on which coin you want to use. So let's say that I wanted to use Tether, USDT. I will just select that. And then information is in, I hit submit. Once I hit submit, it will bring me to the payment page. Now I can take my phone and I can scan this QR code that will enter the amount and enter the address and I can go ahead. And what I would suggest is to always add at least two to $3 more than what is required. The good thing about coin payments is if you send above the amount required, it will send the difference back to you. So right now I need 274.99, all right? Bunch of zeros behind there. So I would actually go and put something like 276. If I was using Bitcoin, I would I will use three dollars more because Bitcoin can just be you know fluctuates a bit, and I would do something like uh two seventy seven all right um and and send that. This is the address, so I would just copy this. If I'm doing it manually versus scanning, I just copy that address, go to my exchange or my wallet and send. Okay, make sure I'm not sending the exact amount here because fees might bring it to just under. And then you would have to go back again and send. So I want to send about two to three dollars above. Again, even if you do that, coin payments will just send the difference back to you. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Do not close this page, leave it open until this page changes and says paid. It's going to come up in a big green button saying paid, and under it, it will have continue to seller store. Once it does that, you click on continue to seller store. And it will bring you right back to your membership page. I want to show you exactly where it's going to bring you to. So when it brings you back, after you click on continue to sell a store, it's going to be in this section here, the my orders. And you're going to see here pending. You see this? Now, once it says pending in here, just wait a couple of minutes, six, seven minutes or so. And then it's going to be, it's going to be removed from the pending payments section. Once it's out of the pending section, then you are good to go. It means that your, your order went through and you now have a fully active account. And that, guys, is how you make a simple purchase on your IS Global. Now, I'll just add on, if someone wanted to, if you were doing this for someone and you needed to move them out the holding tank, remember, you just go to uh, Manage Network, Holding Tank, and you will see their name in here. And this is where you would be able to, to move them. But we'll do a I'll do a separate video on that, all right? So this is how you do a registration. Hope this helps. Cheers.